we got about 250-ish miles left on the trail, and we've got four days to do it. All right, we're just pulling into Moab. Uh, we had a nice long drive from, from Richfield, about three hours of driving. We got Pat and Tucker, and Shane is on his way tonight. He's gonna be here about 45 minutes, and Ernest is gonna meet us tomorrow. We're gonna drop off the trailer at a friend's house and then head up to camp. We'll see when Shane gets here. Hey, look who I just found. <laughs> Tucker, who's that? <laughs> who's that, buddy? Hey, look who we hey, got here. here. What a dummy. We got it echoing because Shane and I called each other. <laughs> Shane finally showed up, so we're hitting the road. We're heading down to the LaSalle section again because Shane wanted to do that. However, this time we're doing a slightly different variation. We're driving up to Medicine Lake to camp for the night. It's a little bit higher than the section that is actually on the BDR, but we are changing it up and trying something new. So we'll see how she goes and hopefully we have a good spot to camp there tonight. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. It's usually a few people I reckon for everyone, you know? Oh, money. Didn't think we were gonna get in some te technical stuff right away here. I haven't mastered the, the gas brake technique on this. One foot on the gas, gas, one foot on the brake, baby. I don't know if I can multitask like that. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Mud flap? Yeah, I went, I went down that. I didn't realize it. I was on two wheels for a hot minute there. Oh, here you go. Pat's gonna shed some light on it. Oh, that is a hole. I saw your I saw your left back tire lift off and I was like, yeah. holy shit. Dude, I don't know where. I don't know if I went. Oh, I went down right here. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was deeper than I expected. I don't know how well you can see it, but Moab's out there. Well, that's a tree though. Do you say you engaged your locker already? He's got highway tires. Give him a break. Yeah, you got it right there. Nice. Oh, you almost scraped the new sliders. Piece of cake. Oh yeah, get a little scrape on there. Oh yeah, it's great. Good thing you just painted those. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right, 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 right. There you go, straight right there. Nice and easy. Beautiful. <laughs> Money. Holy shit. What do you think of that? That was rowdy. Dude, look at that. Look at that flex right there. Tucker, Tucker, Tucker. Oh my God. Tucker. <laughs> Dude, look at that. That's good stuff. Hey, you're you're blocking the shot. You're, what do you think of that? Uh, that's that's spicy. <laughs> Two wheeling. Oh, what a night. This is not what we expected. I was told this this trail was challenging and a little rough, but not like that. This is good stuff. I'll leave it to Jordan having us rock crawling at 11 o'clock at night trying to find a place to camp up in the LaSalle's. Classic, straight for the good stuff. Already scraped skid plates, the sliders, putting everything to the test with the Forerunner, but still handling well. And uh, yeah, having some fun. It's a freaking sweet area. This is literally just a huge rock shelf. This is nuts. Oh. It's a good thing it's dark out because if it was daylight, I think I would need my brown pants going across this. It do go down. You can't see it very well through the camera, but it's a long, steep drop down there. This is a cool little shelf road. Imagine crossing this in the snow. This would be a little sketchy in the snow, just like that one drop off we had a while back.
<laughs> it, went, it went like six feet to your right. Tucker, you can't go get any of those. We are currently at just under 9,300 feet and we are starting to get snow on the LaSalle Pass. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, she's a little slick. Hey, buddy. I don't like it. <laughs> it's a little close in here. You come here often? I'm a freewheeler. <laughs> We are camping at just over 10,000 feet. Well, we made it to Medicine Lake. Uh, we're not camping by the lake. We found another spot nearby, a little more protected by the trees. Got a nice big fire going. Got the rigs and the Christmas lights. Only mine, because Shane is saying the Christmas lights were flopping around in the breeze and we can't have Christmas lights on the Forerunner when they're gonna flop around in the breeze. So it's just me with the Christmas lights. It is currently, it's currently 12.15 in the morning on a Friday morning, but we are having a good time. Some technical difficulties this morning. Got the valve stuck on the propane bottle. Safety third. Oh, come on. We're almost there. <laughs> you know, I don't know why I was twisting, because it's just pushed in there. I could have I could have just pulled pull. on it instead of twisting. That didn't do anything. What a dummy. Shane just put these sliders on this week. Got his first trail damp dude, hey, hey, sir. Got his first trail damage right away. Go Buddy! That. Go look at that skid plate. That's trail damage. Oh yeah. That one was rough. He decided to smoke a rock. A couple rocks. What do you have to say about that? I can't drive. I don't know. You need a lift. I do need a lift. I don't know lift and not highway tires coming soon well we just left the campsite awesome spot tucked back in these pine trees heading out back on the trail just an amazing view of the LaSalle mountains one of these might be mount peel super tall great view and uh we're gonna go check out this lake that we camped next to be fly fishing right now on the ice fly yeah. fishing on the ice Do some, uh, how, how is your fly fishing gonna get through this ice <laughs> Dude, this is beautiful. Dig! Dig! <laughs> That's danger water, Tucker. Oh my gosh, you scared me. <laughs> go boy, go boy. <laughs> Freaking love that. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> So cool. Look at him go. <laughs> come on, buddy. Go, boy. No, come. Keep, keep walking. This is a. This is like National Geographic level photo. Tucker. Come here. <laughs> you can forget. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Dummy. Come on. I feel like I'm rally driving. We had a little bit of
of a setback. Uh, Ernest was on his way down and there was an accident on 191 from Moab to LaSalle. So he got stuck in that and they're life lighting someone. We're gonna try and find some better service so I can share a different trail with him and he can meet us somewhere versus getting stuck in traffic for six hours. We'll see what we can do. We're taking the BDR winter. This canyon's really cool right here. Jordan. <laughs> We're taking the, the winter bypass to dr go try and find Ernest and catch him up with us because he got stuck in that accident. So he's trying to find the bypass and we're gonna go try and meet up with him so he can follow us the rest of the way. So we'll see if we can find him. Ernest was supposed to meet up with us this morning by now. Here comes Jordan. We found Ernest. Uh, we ended up taking the, by, the winter bypass from the LaSalle Mountains and drove back to find him, got up at a connecting point and then he followed us back. So we are headed, <laughs> headed back to LaSalle uh, to meet up with the actual trail of the BDR. I think I scared that car a little bit. Found an old mine. They look like they're blocked off or very much shut down or destroyed. Oh, well, that's not a mine. That's just maybe where they helped guide their water through or something. Let's see what we got over here. What's in there, buddy? Nothing. I don't know what this used to be. Careful, buddy. Interesting. Surprised how much cement there is down here. Well, look at all the piping, though. It looks like there might have been some oil. All the piping, I would think, more oil. That's kind of cool. It's some sort of smeltering shit. I don't know. Well, it looks like something burned here at one point. Yeah, that's what I mean. Some sort of smelter as far as like maybe they were. Oh, look at the rocks. Processing. Look at the color of the rocks over there. This is sweet. Yeah, I don't know what this what this used to be. It's weird because I can't determine if it's like it burned down or if it got like yeah. like they purposely destroyed it. close we just got done with lunch we are back on the trail we're gonna try and make up some ground and uh, hopefully get in some elevation we'll see what happens <laughs> this road's a little washed out Oh, mine shaft. Oh. Oh, it's very much caved in and I don't want to go down there. I would love to go down there, but I'm not going to. That's cool. I should have brought my headlamp. I'm not going too deep. That's what she said. What are you doing down here? Are you exploring the mine? Good boy. These boots weren't made for walking. Wow, I wish I had my flashlight now. There's looks like two different tunnels. Wow, it's dark. This is cool. Ernest, is this one of those things that you said you don't like going down? Yeah, I wouldn't uh, do this. <laughs> Three year old. Let's look at that. I got steel holding it up. That's it's good. This is one of those times where I wish I had a the reader for oh, stuff. How far does it go back there, Shane? What is that called? Right there. To determine if it's hazardous? It'd be the smart. Air monitor. The air monitor? Yeah, that thing. It only goes to here. Dead end. You think putting your shirt over your face is gonna keep it from getting in? Yep. What is this? Oh that go that's a shaft. Holy crap. That that goes down.
check out Newspaper Rock. There's petroglyphs here. Right, Newspaper Rock was pretty sweet. There was a lot of cool petroglyphs on that, uh, way more than I even imagined. So glad we took the little detour to stop and look at that. Found something on Gaia GPS called the racetrack. So instead of traveling on the pavement the whole time, we are gonna take this trail because the dirt road and rough, rough rocky road is way more fun. I've come to find out that anything in Utah with the name racetrack and it means we're going slow. That seems to be a common theme, eh? Watch your dog. Lumberjack. Sure, you know we're here. Good thing Tucker doesn't see it. Tucker, what's that? What's that? Good. <laughs> Use the knife. Good boy. Big old stack of wood. Uh, hold the power button on the top right. It's the orange. 